Okay, I'm gonna walk you through the steps of videoing your project. So here's my project. Um, let me X out, let me find it. Okay, so you're gonna come to your project. Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna open up my project in my slides. Okay, one of the partners. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I have this app up in the corner of my screen. See it up there? Screencastify. If I click on it um, for the first time, you're gonna have to go through some pop-up messages. So go ahead and do that. You'll log in with Google. You'll tell them you're a student. There's a bunch of access, allow access to your webcam and your microphone, etc. all of those things. Um, and then X out. Once you've gone through all those permissions, the next time you click on that app, all you should see is this screen. And we don't want our microphone on, don't want your webcam on. You only wanna be filming your desktop, okay? That's what you want to be able to appear. To film, I'm gonna come here to slideshow, the little drop down arrow. I wanna go to presenter view because that's gonna still allow me to access my Screencastify button. And then I'm gonna X out of this little pop up here. So I'm in full screen basically with the access to my bookmarks. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the Screencastify button and I'm gonna go ahead and hit record. Okay, I'm gonna do window and then I'm gonna click on the picture and I'm gonna click share. Okay, and now I'm gonna walk through once it counts down my slides, walk through them slowly. and you're clicking at a nice even pace. And when your slides finish, you're coming over here to the corner and clicking stop. Okay, it's now gonna load the video. Um, and you're gonna, oop, I don't need that. You're gonna do two different methods um, and see whatever works. Export video and just click on download file. Never does anything. And then also Google Drive and go to change it from private to public. Okay, just double check, public, and then click on that so it downloads, excellent. Okay, so make, definitely make sure it's public. Okay, and it's downloaded, so there's that. When I come over to my Schoology, okay, I'm coming into the blue folder, dot motion, final movie project, I'm gonna scroll down to the comment box. I'm gonna come into the comment box, type my name and my partner's name, okay? Come down here to the third option, which says resource. Third option says resource, okay? Click on that. You're gonna have to connect your Google Drive when you come to apps. Google Drive and you'll have to sign into your Google Drive to connect it the first time. And then all your Google Drive things will appear. So I'm gonna pick that file. I'm gonna do this two different ways. So I'm gonna first click the file and go import embed. And it's gonna load it as a movie. And then I'm gonna come again to that third button. I'm gonna do the same process with one small difference. I'm gonna choose the movie Go to import and go to uh, import link, the first option this time, okay? And then I'm gonna click, oh, did I delete mine? I did. Okay, I'm gonna do that one more time because it deleted my, uh, you have to hit enter, I guess. I must not have hit enter and just deleted the other resource. So I'm gonna click it, import embed. So that picture's back and now I'm gonna hit post and I should have Oop, I, maybe I didn't delete it. It was just in there. I should have, when I have the correct post, I should have the video and I should have a link there. I, sh I have an extra video. So a video and a blue link will appear if I've done those two steps correctly. So this one is a better option here. I have my name, the video, and then my blue link, which can be clicked on right here for Ms. Watts to access. And those are the two things I need in that text box, our names, then the video, and then the link to the video. And then I'm done.